Hey YouTube, Kira Twig here, bringing you all an update to my Pirelli Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile for post Rarity Collection 2. With the newest Rarity Collection, I would say it's become a lot easier to build the Pirelli deck, being able to access the three Ultra Rares from the Amazing Defender set in the new Rarity Collection set, being Pirelli, Pirelli Pretty Memory, and Pirelli Precious Memory, all in the many different rarities that you can now acquire from the Booster Pack. And then all the other cards being lower rarity to build up for the Pirelli deck, which is an Xyz deck that has seen some pretty good meta play throughout the past months. And even still having some cards on the ban list to kind of restrict the power of the deck. But this is more or less my updated version of the deck. So let's go ahead and get started with the deck profile. So we'll go ahead and start off with the main deck monsters. For the Pirelli monsters, there's only two main deck monsters with our first one being Pirelli itself. When this card is normal or special summon, you can excavate the top three cards of your deck and add one excavated Pirelli Sparrow Trap from your deck to your hand. Also place the rest on the bottom of the deck in any order. And once you return during your main phase, you can reveal one Pirelli Quick Play spell in your hand, a special summon one Xyz monster from your extra deck that mentions that card. By using this card, you control his material. So then... You'll basically take the Pirelli spell, overlay it on top of your Pirelli, and then go into the Exceed monster needed using those two cards as your combo play. So that's your main way to make use of your Exceed monsters in the deck with your many different Pirelli cards with our other monster for the Pirellis being three copies of Pirelli Lee. If this card's normal or special summon, you can add one Pirelli card from your deck to your hand except for a quick play spell. So being able to add either the Pretty Memory, which will be your main go-to search power, or even the Field Spell off of this monster, and then being able to use this card during the setup for your Xyz play from your extract that mentions this card. For the quick play spell, target one Pirelli quick play spell in your graveyard and special summon the one that mentions that card by using this card's material and then attach the spell to the summoned monster. So this gives you the Xyz play as well, but making use of the quick play spells that you have in the graveyard as well. With our other main deck monsters being a lower number count, just three copies of Ash Blossom and two copies of Effect Failure, we do run Crossout Designator in the deck as well since it was a newly reprinted card in the Rarity Collection. So just having targets along with hand traps to use to shut down our opponent's plays always come in handy with the deck for our spells which are the big part of the pirelli deck three copies of my friend pirelli if you can pay 500 life points reveal three pirelli cards from your deck except for my friend pirelli and your opponent randomly picks one for you to add to your hand shuffle the rest of the deck and if a face up pirelli exceeds monster you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card even during the damage step you can add up to three pirelli quick play spells with different names from your graveyard so recycle power also this just gives you search being able to then just reveal three pirelli spells from your deck and then just add one of those cards even though you know you chose three cards they're still the same card because of it and also three of the field spell stray pirelli street your opponent cannot target pirelli monsters you control with card effects the turn they are special summon once per turn if a face up pirelli exceeds monster you control leaves the field because of an opponent's card special summon one level one pirelli monster from your deck or graveyard and once per turn during your end phase you can target a pirelli exceeds monster on the field and attach one pirelli quick play spell from your deck or graveyard to that monster's material so one of the better pirelli quick play spells to have for the attach is sleepy memory because then you'll get draw power during the next standby phase so if you can attach more and more sleepy memories on of the same card you'll have more draws to rely on for that card also and also we run the three copies of pirelli pretty memory i really do like the secret rare variant for the pirelli cards but pretty memory at three each player gains 1000 life points then you can apply the following effect discard one card to special summon one level one pirelli monster from your deck as do the other pirelli cards just being able to special summon your other pirelli monsters which is why we can run a low monster count and still have no fear of grabbing those monsters but also you can use the pretty memory effect of an exceeds monster that has this card material gains the effect of once per turn you can send one other card you can Control the graveyard to target one card your opponent controls and attach it to this card's material just taking more and more resources away from your opponent thanks to pretty memory and also the three copies of pirelli happy memory you have the same special option on the field to special summon a level one pirelli monster from your deck and being able to choose one card in the field at the end of the next turn the first time be destroyed by a card effect it's not and also the additional exceeds effect of it can attack monsters the number of times the battle phase up to the number of happy memory attached to it plus ones so the more happy memory the more a monster can swing at your opponent's monsters also 
We're also running three copies of Sleeping Memory, having the draw power that this card can provide, being able to, once per turn during the standby phase, draw one card. So if you have your Pirelli Xyz monster, and then you use, let's say, your rank up play to then go into your bigger Pirelli monster, you have the same draw option because it was a different monster while still in the standby phase to draw off of the effect. Since it's not a once per turn for you to use this, so as long as you go into another monster, well, you have the multiple sleeping memory on one card. That's more and more draws to use off of each one also. And the two delicious memories, since this card is still on the ban list at two, they at least let it off the ban list at two. So maybe we'll see full power since the deck, uh, since the last list update. But for delicious memory, it has an attack boost for the Pirelli Xyz monster that has as material, gaining 300 attack and defense for each material attached to it. So you can have the delicious memory stack on top of that monster as well because of it. And then having the special summon power as well, and choosing a monster on the field until the end of the next turn, it cannot be destroyed by battle. For more of the generic spells, the two copies of Pot of Prosperity. We don't use it much because the majority of our deck for the extract does have to be used for the Pirelli summons, but even if you go for a three, you may hit the one spell or monster you need for your play on the field. Two copies of Triple Tactics Talent, as well as just another hand trap choice, while also being able to use Prosperity and Talents that we run the deck as potential targets, along with the hand traps for Cross Out Designator, which we have the two copies of, and the one copy of Call by the for the rest of the spells. For the traps, running two copies of Pearl Yeep. Target one Pirelli Xyz monster you control. Special summon from your extra deck one Pirelli Xyz monster with a different rank by using that card's material. But return to the extra deck during the end phase of the next turn. It's treated as an Xyz summon. Transfer materials to the summon monster. And you can banish this card from your graveyard to target up to three Pirelli monsters in your graveyard and shuffle them back into the deck. So recycle power. But even if we have our Xyz monster on the field, we can always use cards like Zeus to overlay on top of it to avoid it being returned back into the deck with the last of the traps being three copies of infinite impermanence just the hand trap choice option once again being another target for cross out designator also now for the extra deck, the one Pirelli Xyz monster I was missing was E Pirelli Noir, which is the little counterpart to X Pirelli Noir. So if you have one copy of that, you can always just drop down one of the copies of E Pirelli Happiness that I'm running in the deck. You don't need two, I would say, for this one. It's just more of the attack-powered one and being able to make use of the Pirelli Xyz plays for it. We only need the setup for that to use for the battle to add a Pirelli card from your deck to your hand. And then having Happy Memory being the added bonus for Happiness. Same with Delicious Memory for Plump. And having Shuffle Back Power off of this card as well. And then being able to attach Xyz material for your Quick Play spells up to thrice per turn for all of our different Pirelli cards. With the last being Beauty, two copies of as well. And being able to target an effect monster opponent controls and negate its effect. And having Pretty Memory on it to make it a quick effect. For the bigger monsters, two copies of Explorally Noir and the one copy of Happiness. The overlay power with these cards to come into the form if you have a rank 2 material with 5 materials on it to then just overlay on top. But you can also use Pearl Yeep just to summon out these cards even faster onto the field as well. With the rest of our Xyz monsters being one Downer Magician, one Typhoon, and the one Zeus. Even considered a second Zeus over the Typhoon as a potential card to use also. With our Link monsters being the one copy of Anima with all the Pirelli level 1s, if we do get locked out of the Xyz summon, we at least have a Link 1 that could take our opponent's cards, the 1 IP, and the 1 Nightmare Unicorn to finish off the extra deck. And as for the go-to plays in the deck, the big setup with the Pirelli deck comes down to what you can summon off of your cards. A good majority of the plays come down to the search power, but then also basing your summon off of the material you want to use for your Pirelli play. Whether you use one of the quick play spells to summon out your level 1 monster, you then have that additional search to extend your plays into more and more cards. And then the Pirelli quick play spell that you attach onto your monster will also, as I said, determine the summon you go from there. And then the other cards activations can be attached onto that monster to then benefit from the other card effects and that's the big majority of how the deck runs all together as well but that is it for the deck profile i hope you all enjoyed like i said just a quick little update for a deck that got easier to build with the rarity collection too and as always until next time please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and kira twig out